This is Catholic Daily Reflections for Saturday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time. Today's reflection is entitled, Living a Truly Blessed Life. While Jesus was speaking, a woman from the crowd called out and said to him, Blessed is the womb that carried you and the breasts at which you nursed. He replied, Rather, blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. This short gospel reading reveals much about what makes one blessed in life. Specifically, Jesus considers those truly blessed who do two things, hear the word of God and then observe it. Though this seems quite obvious at first read, it is often harder than it seems. The first step to a blessed life is hearing the Word of God. To hear implies that we do much more than become familiar with the Gospels. Hearing means we are not only aware of all that our Lord has revealed, it also means that we have truly internalized it understanding all that our Lord requires of us. Have you heard our Lord? It's important to understand that the gospel is alive. In other words, becoming familiar with the word of God is not the same as reading some ancient book of lessons. Rather, hearing the word of God means we hear a person, the Son of God, speaking to us and guiding us each step of our lives. God's Word is something that must speak to us every moment of every day, inspiring us to do this and avoid that. It is accomplished through a lifelong habit of prayerful communion with our Lord, through which we are attentive to His voice always. Hearing the very person of the Son of God, the Word made flesh, necessarily implies that we also observe all that He speaks to us. In fact, failure to follow His continuous and gentle command to love will result in us being unable to clearly hear Him at all. We will become confused and will easily become directed by the many other voices in our world, unable to discern the glorious path chosen for us by our Lord. Reflect today upon whether or not you struggle in any way with both hearing and observing the voice of God. If this is your struggle, then recommit yourself to a time of humble and wholehearted discovery. Tell our Lord that you are sorry for not being attentive to Him and set yourself on a mission to seek and find Him. Reject the confusion and anxiety of life. Reject the many other voices of wisdom within our world and listen for His gentle but clear voice. He is always speaking. He is always calling you. He is always present. Open the eyes of your soul and give Him your full attention. And when you sense Him speaking to you, respond with the utmost generosity and obedience. Doing so will result in you discovering what it means to be truly blessed by our Lord. Let us pray. My blessed Lord, you are glorious beyond all things, and you invite me and all your creatures to share in your very life. Give me the grace I need to turn from the confusion and deceptions of life so that I will hear only you, and respond only to your voice. I commit myself to your holy will, dear Lord. As I do, please bestow upon me every blessing you desire to give. Jesus, I trust in you.